pretty cool morning when you come out here to feed the pigs and they're not here. Peaceful, nice, jump over the fence, fill up their bowls. They're on the other side of the paddock. I started calling them, it took them a while to figure out what was going on. But here they come. I know they just look like little dots. They won't for long. You got Harley in front. Come on, Lucky. Come on, Jess. Let's go. Harley, I don't know where you're going. <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right, got Harley in front. Not surprising, really. He's very food motivated. We've got Geraldine close behind. Oh, no. It's, a, it's a, almost a neck to neck with Geraldine and Lucky. Hi. Come on, guys. And Pumpkin. Come on, Pumpkin. Don't stop running, darling. Well, I better take some food to Pumpkin. Come on, Jess. What's this over here? Look. We've got this one. Look over here, guys. Come on, Pumpkin. Here she comes. Pumpkin Sita. And we've got this one over here, guys. we we'll play the shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle. We've got to have food and lots of bowls so everyone can just run around. Everyone gets some, basically. Come on, Pumpkin. You made it, sweetie. Hi, Pumpkin. Oh, come on, Dali. Come over here. Come on, Pumpkin. What's this? Yes. No, Holly. Yeah, see? Yep. Forever like this. Pumpkin really is. Oh, she probably won't now that I'm trying to show you on video, but she really is becoming so much friendlier. I never used to be able to touch her. Now I can pat her and she even wags her tail. See? Proof. You saw it move, right? Holly, be nice. Ready? Let's see if it happens again. Yes, it moved again. Hello, Pumpkin. Oh, Nucky. Yeah, okay. Anyway, one, two, three, big trough. Four b bowls. Four pigs. It means no, no matter who's pushing away, no matter who's pushing who away, there's enough bowls for everyone to be eating. This is how it has to be. Same within there with those, those four. They all do the shuffle. Am I seeing that right? You can't see that from here, but there's a rooster on a roof. That's rocky. Anyway, uh, 3.5 degrees this morning. Apparently felt point, like one point something. Pretty cold. Frosty. It's going to be, yeah, it's just a taste of what winter's going to be like. I guess this is our first winter. I have no idea how cold it's going to get. I imagine very. Anyway, it's Friday morning. Yay! See you guys later. So this is just a quick update on Patrick. He has made a really good recovery. So he had things went a little bit backwards. I can't, okay, as always, I, I can't remember what I told you guys. But here's uh, Patty's ball sack. Um, previously previous pendulum package had at some point split open and got really infected and the smell was well I just leave it to your imaginations it was bad really really bad anyway um, wonderful friend over at um, contented pig in sanctuary Kathy she has put us on to the miracle cure that is castor oil and uh, so we applied castor oil to the wound site twice a day and literally the first time we applied it the stuff the the nasty stuff it just oozed right on out of there and ever since then it's been healing and the smell's gone and it's amazing we're so pleased and then in here little miss Porsche, beautiful girl she i promise she's been getting up heaps lately she had um a limp after we sorry i'm just gonna put it down after we introduced the these four to the outside four you know how things didn't go so well well yeah anyway she ran and she started limping and we gave her some medication and she's just doing so much better aren't you Portia you're just so much better she's a sweetheart she loved her meds we snuck it to her in bananas she's like oh thank you for my treat that also makes me feel better so she's been very happy we should have Alfie coming soon and we're gonna extend the um the poor Portia and Dozer they're gonna be so sad this is their bed it's been their bed since they've got here but, um, you know, we're going to do the thing again when we shut off the section here. We open up that door again. And this is where the four will sleep in here. And this will become the quarantine area again. But instead of it just being this concreted area with a little outdoor area, which really is just a tiny wallow and a toilet, um, John came up with the idea last night that what we'll actually do is we'll put a fence. We'll fence it off from the end of that gate there straight across so that Alfie can also come out into this section here and we'll still you know these the other four will still have plenty of room 
plenty of room. And, you know, of course, the plan is eventually uh, when hopefully John recovers. I don't know if I mentioned it, but he injured his rib actually on this gate. He was uh, just leaning over it and there's these little wooden um, struts at the bottom that he put there to stop the dogs from going underneath the gate. And I don't know if you can see, but that one's standing up and that one's on its side. So he was standing on that and it flipped and he just banged his rib on this and it was really sore and then it got a lot worse uh, to the point where, you know, thinking maybe internal organ in injury or whatever. Anyway, he's luckily he's been resting a bit, forcefully, forcefully resting a bit. He's a bit of a pain in the ass like that actually. And um, yeah, he's recovering. He's feeling a lot better, putting a lot of heat on it. Anyway, it's, you know, can't do anything at the moment, but eventually it'll happen. You know, we'll, I don't know why I'm going all the way out here. We will uh, have that gate open so they can go out and to that paddock as well. It'll be wonderful. Wonderful. Let's give a little update. Hi, Maggie. Can you see her? Uh, on the four lovely ladies in here. Um, because we're taking things a bit easier, you know, it means we can't do fencing, etc. This weekend, I think we'll get to work on, so this is the girl guinea pig area. And we've just chucked, as you can see, a whole lot of clover hay in here. So it's for warmth, but also for eating. Great stuff. You can eat your bedding. Wonderful, isn't it? That's Maggie there. Hey, Mags. She's such a cutie. I can't even think how many years old she is now. She'll be getting on. Yeah, there's movement, so there's more under there. I'm assuming there's some in here. Hello. Hi, Felicia. Hi, Felicia. Hey, baby girls. Yeah, so it's, you know, keeping them warm with insulated hay and straw at the moment. But, yeah, we'll build, order some more of these bridge things. Um, and we're going to use one as a ramp and get them off the ground and have a thing and, you know, enclose it so it's all, yeah, insulated. So, much better. Excuse me. Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming back down off the roof, Rocky. And how cute is this? So I know I've shown you this before, this channel that we've created because of when we empty the water in the mornings, it just ends up as this big flood. And if it rains, there's a big flood. So this helps manage some of that um, drainage. And, you know, John's decided to call it Carrick Creek. Very cute, hey? Up, oh, Taco and Bam Bam hanging out. There's the three... So we've got Bam Bams on one side, on the outside, and then we've got Rudy on the inside of one area, and Taco. Hey guys! Hey Taquito! And he's so cute, his head's all wet, because when he drinks water, he dunks his whole head in. Hey Taco! And I forgot to just mention, here we've got Shanti, he's doing really well, he's such a sweetie. A sweetie with his little ladies. Hi Shanti! He's just a chill dude. He He's pretty happy with life. Um, it's always a bit dark and this it run in the morning, but the sun does creep in here And there is sun in here for most of the day, which is great Hey guys, we've got our guinea fowl who have um, they're growing up They've grown up and they've flown the nest Not all of them. So we, they're all still here. They all still live here But they used to put themselves to bed every night in with the turkeys up here But now it's just kitty. So we've got two girls and four boys. So kitty uh, No, that's dolly um, she just ran inside. Anyway, Kitty, she is the one. She sleeps in with the turkeys, and the other five all sleep up in these two trees. They've graduated. How cool is that? And here we have our boys. Hey, little Nacho. We've got Hank. Teddy's hiding away underneath there. Excuse me. These roosters are so. Oh, they're not just curious, they also want the grass I've just put in there for them, even though they have grass growing on the ground. Back it up, y'all. Hi, Hank. Hey, Nacho. Yeah, same deal. We've just put some clover hay in here for them and they've got their bridge. We've got another couple of bridges for each area coming in the mail, hopefully really soon. And yeah, the uh, plan for these guys is pretty cool. So, hello, Teddy up the back there. Moe's hiding somewhere underneath. Yeah, down the back. Hi, guys. They're so cute. You guys are so cute. Yeah. Right, so, oh. the cool plan is that we're going to, um, as I mentioned before, we're going to build a little run for them inside of this bachelor pad area, but we are going to incorporate 
the trees. So this is an apple tree here. We've got, I don't know if we'll incorporate both. Oh, that one over there would just be one, but we'll take the wire off. So they'll actually be able to run around in the um, brush and stuff underneath. And as it grows, it'll be a shelter for them. But that tree is going to form part of their run area. You know, we'll move that tire across. Hi, who am I looking at? It's hard to tell because the boys are molting and they've all dropped their long tail feathers. That's William. You can tell by the combs so that's got to be Malik. Hi, Malik. Hey, Gaggles. Yeah, so it's going to be, I reckon that's going to be really cool. And obviously we're going to have to have the uh, tree area so that it's just open to the elements so it can grow. And there'll be um, parts of the run which will be covered. So there'll be shelter and there'll be shelter inside that we'll build as well. So yeah, something else we might be able to look at this weekend. When I say we're taking it easy, it means that this is stuff where John can just say, right, do this, do that. And um, I'll be able to do it. So yeah, hopefully we'll, you know, like a, not a plan. It's just a thought. That's what I'm thinking in my head right now. All right, see ya. How handsome are these lads? These are our Gippsland boys. We've got Miguel on the right, Toby on the left, and Jack is up the back. Over here is Nikki. Hi, Nikki. They just, oh, I can't get over how big Miguel got. You're very handsome. All of you are so handsome. I was just having a little moment with Malik. Malik and William. Hi, guys. I don't know if he'll let me do it again. It's so funny, they just go into like this little trance. Hi, where you just pat them on the side of their face. Pat their wattles. Hmm? William's just like, hey, didn't we have that moment yesterday? What's going on? You're so very cute, Malik. These guys don't really, the Gibson boys, not so much. They don't really let me do it. You know, while we're here, we'll just say hello to everybody, hey? We've got uh, Hicks and Red up the back. I only have to really worry about Hicks, I think, first thing in the morning when he runs out. That's when he's scary. I can't move because I've got to hold the gate shut. But hi, Red. How are you, handsome? He's looking a little worse for wear because he's been fighting a little bit through the fence with Nikki. Him and Nikki have got a beef for each other. They really... I have it in for each other. I can't. I can I? Yes, I can. Hello. Hi, Red. How are you, handsome? And over here, hi. Hi, Kevin. Hello, handsome boy. Goodness me, he's such a striking lad. Him and his brother, Randall, who's perching inside the house at the moment. Hi, boys. And then we have our silky lads. Little Adrian. Hi, Adrian. We've got Apollo. Clubber, Holly. Hi guys. Do you want to say hi, Hicks? Hi, Hicksy. Do you want to say hi? <laughs> You're a strapping lad, you know. He's not very social. But that's okay. I'm just happy that these two are getting along well. <clears throat> All right. So I think it's safe to say that little Frankie has taken quite well to the bottle. Look at that little tail. Look at that little tail. Look at that happy tail. And his cute little cardi. Hi. Hey, baby boy. He's doing really well. He's actually, yeah, since he got used to actually suckling or suckling on the bottle, he has been an absolute champion. And John's playing this song, you can't always get what you want in the background because he's being a bit of a dick. Anyway, it's a long story. <laughs> yeah, it's quite deliberate. Anyway, how cute's this? This card is a little bit small. A little baby boy. There you go, have a little break. Oh, wow, he really guzzled that down, didn't he? All right. He's a champion feeder. <laughs> Look at that tail. Look at that tail. He's so cute. It's all a bit shaved back there after he had um, his visit to the vet and he had all the poopy stuff removed. <laughs> Apparently when mummies are, when the babies are feeding from their mums, 
They will lick around their behind area as well to simulate going to the toilet. Not that that's what we're trying to do, but that's a natural behavior from a mother sheep to a baby sheep. It's very sweet. Ha, ha, ha. 